Good morning, Plum here, playing World of Tanks. And there's my IS-3. Might be hard to tell from this angle. <laughs> That's a bit easier, isn't it? IS-3, Russian Tier 8 Heavy. This was my first heavy tank in the game, the IS-3. I think I sort of grinded for it, because I like the way it looks. I like that kind of pancake turret on top and the fact that it looks absolutely kick-ass and one day I actually sold it <laughs> by mistake before they implemented the change where you could where you have to type in the uh, number to confirm that you want to sell a tank before those uh, giddy days of things being quite sensible you could just sell a tank just by clicking sell it would just go instantly and I did that one day with my IS-3 that was all pimped and camouflaged and everything just happened to be looking at the sale price and then just wanted to close the window and for some god awful reason I clicked on sell and it just oh, gone we make these mistakes don't we anyway we've got lots of tanks coming up the hill Quite like my most recent video we need to push I'm quite happy for all this lot to get up here first I think this is the first new video I've done since the 100th special video that I did with uh, Mrs. Plum. Although we haven't given her an official name yet, I'll let her choose something. Uh, thank you for your comments on that video and thank you for watching it. It has uh, proved very popular and I thought it would do. <laughs> I figured I don't think I've ever seen any uh, tank video where the commentator's been able to get his better half to sit down next to him. It'd be a different video altogether if she was actually interested in the game, <laughs> but she's not. So really, she was just uh, entertaining me, really. But uh, I guess when you get married, those are the choices. Well, if I can... Oh, nearly had the shot on the LTB then. Right, shall I push around here? I've got to be wary of that T-57. I will go for the shots. Nice job. We can track him. If I can get another one in, we can keep him there. Ah, oh, did you see how? <laughs> Don't really want to point this pike nose directly at an enemy if you want to get a bounce. Boom, that's good stuff, good stuff team. Still taking no damage. Feel the need to go around here now and uh Um oh, come on, move, 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 move. I got a shot here, move, 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 move. <laughs> and now I've lost my shot. Try and go for that. Doesn't appear to work. Get another bounce. Still taking no damage. Gotta keep that pike nose pointed directly at the front fall back, let the T-54 fall back. Right, I'm going to go down to this slightly lower ground across here and try and give them something else to shoot at. Make them turn their guns away. Give my team something else to shoot at. If they're all pointing their guns at me. Come on, who's lowest on health? We've got to take one of these guns out. We can't just keep... T-44 has gone, T-54 over there, take him out, good stuff team, good stuff. I am taking a hell of a pasting though. I don't really want to die in this match because this is all going quite well. Go on Tiger 2, turn your turret, turn your turret, turn your turret. Oh he did get me, I was so hoping he wouldn't get me then. I think he's got so many choices, but he's a pretty smart player. <laughs> Even though he's dead. Bold. That was his name. So you can't go by their efficiencies. He's an 854 player. Which you would think would mean, you know, he's not the greatest in the world. But he's just, he's just average. He can look at the screen and see which is the weakest tank and which one he's got the best chance of penetrating. Go on team. 
Go on without me. I'll stay here and clean up for the next match. Someone's got to push all these tanks out of the way and take them to the scrap heap. I'll do it. Poor old E100. End up being a bit of a whitewash. But it's always nice to be on the team that's doing the washing. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> ah, so often it's the other way around. Still, haven't seen many negative comments in the chat, which is nice. People do seem to be um, being rather sporting about that match. No hate. Good little game. We might even get the flag. How do we do on that one? Tier 8 tank in a tier 10 match. Yeah, we did quite a bit of damage. Second class mastery. Oh, hopefully that's good enough for top 5. Hard to say. Oh my god, <laughs> he actually came top. I was surprised by that. Normally I can I, I know when I've come top in a match. You can you know you play the game long enough, you know when you've had a really good game. I didn't realise I'd done that well. To be honest, I guess it's a tier 8 shooting at tier 10s and you do get more rewards. So, coming top in the IS3 on Himmelsdorf. Very enjoyable experience. Seven fired and got seven hits with seven, sorry, six hits, six penetrations, doing 2297 damage. I did get shot at eight times, 750 blocked by the armour. Yeah, to start with, I thought I was invincible coming around the corner. Got to keep that pike nose pointed directly at the enemy gun if they're pointing at you. Because of the shape of it, you want to, if you turn to the sides like you would do in a normal tank, you're actually uh, reducing the effectiveness of your armour. This is all stuff you probably already know, but in case you didn't or didn't realise, pike nose, point it straight at the enemy. Um, I think because of that, I got a couple of bounces. Lasted a bit longer and made me get a bit more damage done. So, uh, very nice scores. 3,000 XP, 20,000 in the bank. Very cool. Hope you enjoyed that match. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, start of a busy day. Only time for one or two games this morning. First one was rubbish. Hence, <laughs> I think this one. Um, keep your heads down. Drink plenty of water. I'll play again soon. Take care. Bye bye.